Listen, I think the, the president is so excited. He loves campaigning. In the inner sanctum of Trump Tower, the family is plotting the re-election strategy. I, I think it's just such a cool painting. It really captures him. The Lara, his daughter-in-law and senior campaign advisor, claims that once more the polls and the media are vastly underrating the president's prospects of victory. You listen to the words he says and you look at the things he's done across this country. He has, has championed parts of this country and people in this country that really have been forgotten and left behind. The blue collar workers in the middle of this country that were told by our previous president all of their jobs were gone and they could not get manufacturing jobs back. We're sorry, they're gone forever. He brought those back. But will the new campaign resemble 2016? with its aggressive slogans and petty insults. He is like a little baby, <laughs> soft, weak little baby. When he is taunted, he's going to fight back. And, and that will never change. That will probably never change. So I get that there are people that don't like that. And, you know, that is, that's for them. But, but you're, you, you're in the inner circle, Lara. Would you ever say to him, look, you know, <laughs> put your, your Twitter feed to one side and govern I and try and become it, a more unifying figure. I could figure. say it all day long, but he, he will he ultimately listen. do what he wants to do. And, you know, in some ways, that's, that's really one of the great things about him. He's his own person. He's not changing himself to fit a mold that everybody says you should fit. Is there a moment when we're actually going to try and elevate uh, the political conversation in America? Well, listen, it, it was very successful. Donald Trump has been a brander his entire life. And in 2016, we certainly saw that a lot of those names stuck for people. And, you know, it actually worked to the president's advantage in some way. If there is a spring in the step of the Trump family, it is because of last week's state visit to Britain. The perfect political backdrop to a president seeking to change the headlines at home. I think for all of us, first of all, just what an incredible visit. Um, never in my life did I ever imagine that I would get to visit Buckingham Palace, meet the Queen, the royal family. Um, certainly for all of us in our family, it was an extraordinary experience. But it was a brief respite, and there is cold fury in the family about another issue. I believe that the Judiciary Committee should begin impeachment inquiries. The increasing number of Democrats seeking impeachment. I think it would be a terrible thing and, and quite frankly, shame on people for even considering that when, when nothing has happened that, that would ever warrant such ridiculous accusations and investigations. God bless you, everybody. Next week, the president launches his re-election campaign and America is bracing for another brutal political season. Robert Moore, News at 10, New York.